Kelly, did you ever have a pen pal or ever keep a pen pal when you were in grade school? I don't remember having one. I feel like that might have been an assignment, though, but I don't know if I ever, like, we didn't obviously return letters often. I, I don't know if that's a thing anymore. I'm trying to think of, like, my daughters who gone through grade school in grade school et cetera et cetera i think I, we I, sent like a letter to like another classroom like everybody in the class sent a letter to another classroom and then we were supposed to i don't know if we got one back or not i don't, don't remember like another classroom in another country or in, well no just across the country oh like across we, the country we, like yeah, we picked to another, california or something. yes we picked right. another class to everybody exchanged a letter i did have a pen pal where uh, and this is, you know, from an era that doesn't really exist much anymore. But it was like when you would, because now you've got, you know, FaceTime, you've got text message, you've got email. But I, I, I had a pen pal where I wrote a letter to someone, I want to say in Sweden or. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, yeah. It was. And, and we exchanged a couple and I cannot remember if it was a guy or a girl who I was communicating with. But uh, there was just a couple uh, letters that were exchanged, and that was it. That was it, yeah. That was it. That takes a lot of commitment to keep it up over years. Yeah, like speaking of that sort of thing, I remember my family on my uh, dad's side of the family had a kind of a chain letter that would go around. And, you know, when it arrived at your house, you would add to it you would write some stuff and then you'd send it on to some other relative right oh wow yeah okay. and so like updating the family oh and yeah, stuff? yeah 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 okay. yeah so so that i mean that was a thing that that we did on my dad's side of the family That's for years idea. and years and years right and and it even still goes on to this day even with really yeah even with email and all that stuff you know it's still that sort of handwritten sort of update and notes that you can add to or you can do all that stuff but there i've was, got an aunt that does a christmas letter every year still and I mean, updates on everything well, yeah. that happened in the family for the past year right and there's a lot of pressure when it gets to you to yeah. not only uh update it in a timely fashion sure but then you know send it off anyways so we're dealing with pen pals and we're dealing with not only pen pals from you know the past but we're dealing with pen pals from another country altogether and it's largely been a dormant situation for the better part of 22 years yep until recently and that's where jason our listener comes in and his wife got hit up by a guy and now is like hey how am i a supportive husband in this scenario is this just friendship <laughs> is, this, is there right. ulterior is this motives weird what do we do yeah all right so that group therapy on the way on 9970jx when you need advice come to ben and kelly it's group therapy on 997djx Okay, let's see if we can uh, get some help for Jason. Hey, guys, I have an interesting situation I found myself in. Thought I would run it by both of you, maybe your listeners. Okay. So remember back in school, you ever have a pen pal from another country? Mm Mm-hmm. I know it's kind of random. Anyway, my wife's random pen pal from sixth grade from Australia just found her and friend requested her on IG, and it feels a little weird. Wow, cranky. Yeah, we should probably have that music so they wrote each other like 22 years ago and now he's trying to message her about how his dog died or something oh that's weird i'm glad she told me his name is andrew by the way so what's next you ask well he wants to come to america next month and meet up Mm. i thought pen pals were just like a sixth grade thing and you move on what's his move here how do I be a supportive husband about Andrew, the Aussie pen pal? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I would have even let it get. I mean, hey, all right. I don't know. I I probably would have just ignored it. But um, obviously his wife didn't just accepted the DM request, right? Yeah, I, but I, I feel as though... This- how is she going to know who it is? Or how is she going to remember that? Right, exactly. Like, that's well, my thing. Like, 22 years ago, a pen pal... Like, if my pen pal from 
you know, fifth or sixth grade or whatever, hit me up and said, hey, remember you and I exchanged letters? Uh, I'm from Finland, and you and I exchanged letters back in sixth grade. I wanted to meet up again. I'd be like, okay. All right. I'm like, I don't remember any of that, but all right. Yeah, I would say I, this should be a, like a fairly easy one because it's not like they've been continuing to communicate for 22 years. I think that'd be different. Like, they don't really have that established relationship so i think she'd be like you know what we're you know married uh, we work pretty got a pretty busy life i don't know if we can arrange a visit i mean on and the other hand though so i don't know you that well right on the other hand though obviously if if he wants to meet up maybe it's just you know he's maybe never been to america and he thinks he knows someone and that's here his only and, connection and that's his only connection and then you know you uh jason you as the husband and her maybe you agree to meet at a, a bar posting. or okay. something like that yeah. you know and you both go uh, and because obviously you wouldn't want to her to be there by herself oh, just no, for no, safety no. Exactly. you know purposes and things like that so right i mean it's like all right well you know I, maybe it is. Maybe he's excited and maybe it's something where it's like, I don't know. Hey, you're the only person in America I know. Right. right. So I thought I'd start in your town so you could show me around. Right. So I don't know. Maybe that's just me being optimistic, but that is probably it's a what I would take do. from you. I, I would be like, you know, I, typically I expect you to be like, um, no, don't reply. Well, I would have probably ignored it. Right. To be now quite that honest, here, but now that we we're here, it. yeah. maybe, maybe it's a, all right, well, DM me when you get to the States and maybe we can, you know, do something. Uh, well, I, <laughs> I, I feel as though, though, I don't know if we need to meet up with them just to be like, hey, I can recommend some places that you see while you're here. But we kind of got a lot going on. I guess I don't know, and, and Jason didn't really specify, whether that makes his wife feel some sort of way. Right. Like nervous, apprehensive, or excited. Like, we don't know what her take is on this yet. Right. We don't know if she went to his profile and thought, oh, he grew up to be a hottie. An Aussie hottie. <laughs> an Aussie hottie. Crikey. <laughs> Crikey. <and> <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, I don't know that part, but I, yeah, I don't know if we necessarily feel obligated to actually meet this person in person. Okay. Um, we just have, offer some recommendations. If you're planning on traveling to the U.S., might I suggest you go see these things? Yeah. Maybe. All right. Uh, that could be a way to go with that. If you have a blast from the past that sort of reared its head, and was like, hey, want to meet up sort of thing? Maybe it's not a pen pal, but maybe it's a just a, a, a person from way long ago. How did you respond? And well, Elizabeth texted, I had a pen pal in second grade. She's now my hairdresser. That's kind of amazing. Oh. That's awesome. That is kind of cool. And it's a random. different situation we're dealing with here, but yeah. yes, that is fun. Yeah, 502-795-1997. That is our number. Would love to hear your stories about that coming up on 9970JX. We're going a little international with our group therapy this morning. Uh, it involves uh, a pen pal from the past, Australia, a meetup in a month. That's what l- our listener Jason is kind of dealing with with his wife. And he's like, hey, how do I be a supporting husband in the face of all this? Yeah, he's like, I'm trying not to come off as like a jealous jerk or anything like that, but this feels weird, right? This is weird, right? Right. Uh, Bethany texts in and says, watch, this is a total move. He wasn't even her pen pal. He just found some hottie on the IG wants to, quote, make sandwiches with, oh and now putting on a ruse. <laughs> She's just pretending to remember him because she feels bad. Oh, See, wow. I got, I mean, that. Wow, that, what a backstory I was going to say, that took a turn there. Thank yeah. you, Bethany. OMG. Uh, Stephanie says, I'm not in contact with many, with any pen pals from middle school or grade school. I've met several people. In person from Periscope, when Periscope was a thing, I also watched the LaGrange rail camera and have met a couple of people from there in person. The power of social media has also allowed me to connect with people from other parts of the world 
that I met on Periscope. I've always been up front with my fiance about it, and my fiance has actually met a couple of people with me. I think that since uh, she's been up front with her uh, husband, mm-hmm. she needs to be uh, up. He needs to be up front with her. Um, Jennifer comments on Facebook and says, until he gives you a reason to believe otherwise, just keep being the nice, supportive husband. He may just want to meet her, and that's it. I'm assuming she's told him you're married, uh, so that may be all there is to it. So uh, now if you start seeing signs to the contrary, you have every right to just ask him not to come. All right. Uh, Andrew, the love doctor. Hello. Good morning, Ben. Andrew, the love doctor. We have been blessed this week with your presence on the show. You've been checking in a lot. I appreciate you uh, having office hours during our show. Well, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Usually I'm just driving when I check in. But, yeah, I've had some opportunities, and I love the show and and love chatting with you guys. Oh, well, appreciate it. That's so great. So the Australian pen pal yeah andrew the aussie not andrew the love doctors just right. to make that clear to people uh-huh. um first and foremost kelly's absolutely right if you've been communicating all these years it might be different outside of that mm, it's a no and 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 there's a couple of reasons why um and ben, ben you made the point about well maybe you're the only person in america no there's america's a pretty big place right there's right. other people that they could contact when if they're going to come to the country uh, you know, and as far as her husband goes, sit down, have a conversation. And she probably should not have even, you know, accepted the Instagram or, or whatever that looks like. Again, I don't know what her feelings are, but Kelly's 100% spot on. You know, I can recommend some places for you. Here's some great places to see. But um, us meeting up, that, that, that that's a no for me. Yeah, I'm married. My life's good. So, yeah, it's just something. Move on to somebody else. I, right. I totally agree with All you, right. Kelly. 100%. Yep, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we don't need <laughs> to meet this person. We can just give some recommendations and say have a great trip. That is exactly correct. All right, Andrew, the love doctor, thank you so much, sir. Keep on loving, guys. All right, and Desiree says, look, this sort of thing feels like a scam, or it's just super off. Like, I couldn't begin to tell you my grade school pen pal's name, and if it contacted me on social media, I'd just be super creeped out by the whole thing. Like, what is the motive? Yeah, Uh, how in the world did you remember after 22 years? It would be one thing if they had been in continuous, you know, communication for all these years. Like if they even wrote each other yearly, then you have an established relationship. There isn't an established relationship here. Okay, maybe I'm maybe I'm now just kind of like saying no. Yeah, because before I was kind of on the fence and going, "Eh, maybe you just meet them and you go there, you know, as a couple together. And it's just, hey, you know. Um, sure. Let's let's meet up for some drinks and see what's it. You know, maybe he's a cool guy. But now maybe I'm like, ah, maybe you just skip this one. Who knows? I don't know. There, yeah, there's seems just, weird. There's a lot of psychos in the world right now, and I just feel like the state of the world has made me a little bit more suspicious. Justin said, if the pen pal had been a female, would it bother you? I wouldn't be too incredibly weirded out by it, but I don't know this whole situation or anything. I've found old stuff at my dad's house. Looked up people on social media I haven't spoken to in decades. I don't know that I'd travel across the world to meet one, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the whole of traveling across the world thing, too. I mean, just... maybe he's going to America anyway, and it's not just for this. And, and he then did... he thought, oh, I remember. I was right. communicating with somebody in the sixth grade. Maybe I'll reach out. Yeah, so I mean. It could be that innocent. I was going to say, maybe it is just an innocent thing, but, um, you know, I don't know. But is it worth the risk? Yeah. All right. Well, hey, good luck with that, Jason. There's a ton of uh, different thoughts and approaches with this. Hopefully, um, hopefully it's uh, it's all for the good, right? Yeah. I, I mean, if, if what if they if they start messaging or whatever, and they establish some sort of contact, and then you decide, all right, maybe he's not so scary, and husband's going to be involved in meeting them, whatever, mm-hmm. maybe you can move forward there. But, you know, right now, just make sure that everybody's on board with the fact that she's married to you. Yep. And just figure out, you know, what is he already coming to the country or is the sole purpose to meet her? Yeah. All right. Well, hey, good luck with that. Keep us posted. That is group therapy.